Hey folks, so in this video we'll be talking about something called logical operators and essentially what that is is like uh, the AND and the OR um, operators that you could use in, in many things and, and like specifically it could be like the IF statements or loops even um, and yeah I mean I think it really can come in handy so let's just get into it. Uh, first we'll and I, I mean, so our program will just be like really simple and our objective will just be to very simply show you how, how we, how we can uh, create the, the uh, operators into it. Okay. So let's just start by creating some variables, random variables. It'll be like arbitrary just to show you. So we have int variables and, uh, and then we'll use, uh, we'll use the if statement. And we'll just say that um, if system dot so if system dot out dot print line. So if this if, if condition is met, then we'll we'll print out. Oh no. Okay. So if this condition is met, we'll do oh no. Now in the previous uh, videos, if you've seen them, we only had essentially like one like condition right we had like one condition and if this condition was met then you can do whatever's inside um, but in terms of the logical operator so what we can start with is the and operator and so essentially that is represented by two ampersands which is the uh, like the and right they that stands for and and so uh, that's you can do that by shift seven and so you need two of those and that you can like li like literally just translate these two to and okay and then you have the other thing which is the the other condition that has to be met which is like you know, this thing so in this case our our if statement can be read out as if count is less than zero and money is less than zero then do the following okay and so both of these conditions have to be met because it's an and. So both of these conditions have to be met if you want to do this. Now if, so in this case, both of these conditions are met, right? So if we compile it and we can, um, it should say, oh no. Okay, so that, that was from a thing before. So if I just clear that and do it again, it's so, oh no, okay? So both of these conditions were met, so it works out. Now, if only one of the conditions is met, so let's say uh, money is actually three and not negative three, meaning money is actually more than zero. So in this case, if only money, if only, if only the count part of the uh, argument is met, but the money isn't, because it's there's an and here, both of these conditions have to be met. So, so in this case, with the money is equal to three, there would be nothing. So this if condition will not be met and the system dot our print line will not work because both conditions have to be met for sure. Uh, the other type of condition, so I guess I can just contrast it to you. So this is this is the and one. So in this case, um, this would not work. But the other way is that the the other op the other condition or the other operator is the or and that's essentially um the slash key so shift and then the slash key so there's like so there's a slash but then you have this shift and then slash to get that two of these and that safely you could translate that to or and so in this case if count is less than zero or if money is less than zero then you can do the following and so so we can obviously contrast that very easily, um, the and and the or, and I think that kind of makes it very simple. So in this case, instead of just doing nothing, so this will do nothing, but this will work because we only need like just one of them to work. And so if there was another thing like, uh, you know, another operator that said some random other variable, it doesn't matter. Only one of them need to work in order for, for this condition to be met, while in this case, both of them need to be worked. Okay? So hopefully you guys learned a little bit, uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.